conservative New Yorker Emmy Rossum seemed to come from nowhere to star in the 2004 big screen version of Andrew Lloyd Webber's stage musical Phantom of the Opera. However, despite the fact that she was only 18 years old at the time, she'd already made quite a splash in the opera world. The story goes that she was invited to join the Metropolitan Children's Chorus at the age of seven after singing Happy Birthday in 12 different keys. As a teenager, she sang six languages in 20 operas at the Met before turning her attention to screen acting. In the year 2000, Variety magazine named her one of 10 to watch after her debut big screen performance in Songcatcher. No wonder she felt quite at home on the set of Phantom. You know, it's one of the exciting things about working on a show with like big, big sets and big costumes and period costumes is it kind of feels like I'm back at the opera, especially when you're with such beautiful music. Her role as Christine was a great test of her all-round performance skills. I do. I do sing and I do dance and I act as well. No, she doesn't. She's terrible. <laughs> she can't sing. However, she did have to face her own phantom upon stepping into the shoes of Sarah Brightman, who originally played the role on stage. Was she nervous? You know, I suppose initially, yes, but I had never seen the stage show and I actually, I still haven't. So, you know, I had no preconceptions of what she had originally been created like, so I just took her from my heart and hoped that all of the old fans would be happy. After the demands of Phantom, one might have expected her next big film, a remake of The Poseidon Adventure, to be a walk in the park. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to do physically, learning how to scuba dive and free dive and things I'd never done before. Um, and coming from Phantom of the Opera, which was so pretty and, and, you know, singing and sucked into those corsets, here I just had to be raw and emotional and they threw me in the tank and that was my hair and makeup. After that, she got down to the rather drier business of recording her debut album, Inside Out. In 2009, she made a glamorous return to the big screen in Dragon Ball Evolution.